in terms of the phonology, the morphosyntax, uh, the syntax, which is the grammar, the, the semantics, vocabulary, and even the rhetorical aspect, which is the discourse, how you tell the story. And these students did come into a situation in school where if you go through each category, they, they, they do it differently. And so what we have to do then is recognize them as standard English learners and then begin to use instruction that would be responsive to them being in the situation. And that's going to, we feel like it's going to get them to the success we want them to have for standard English and academic language. The problem is, though, that many folks do not see the legitimacy in terms of these four groups, culture and language. And so that's where the validation and affirmation comes in. So validate for us is to make legitimate what mainstream has made illegit illegitimate and the institution has made illegitimate, culturally and linguistically. And affirm is to make positive what the institution and mainstream media has made negative for culture and language for these groups. So when we think of Hawaiian Americans, Native Americans, Mexican Americans, African Americans, we don't think of legitimacy in terms of culture and language. So when you say, well, what is what is African American language or what is Chicano English, people would give it a deficit sort of definition, ghetto, gibberish, uh, broken English, so on and so forth, no legitimacy. If you say, well, what, what is black culture? What do you mean by black culture? Are you talking about hip hop? No legitimacy. Are you talking about, you know, food, dress, dance, music? No legitimacy. So what we have to do is take a little time to talk about if we're going to be culturally responsive, then we have to legitimize what has been made illegitimate by the institution in very explicit terms. 